I'm about to explain who county court bailiffs are, what they do and what your rights are when dealing with them. County court bailiffs work for HM Courts and Tribunal Service and are responsible to the delivery manager of the county court hearing centre they work for. They're usually called upon when you have a county court judgement that you've not paid as the court ordered. If you receive a notice from a bailiff that they're dealing with your case, you can offer to pay by instalments if you can't pay the money owed in full. It's important to ensure the amount that you offer is affordable and you can use a budget to show your income and expenditure. If the bailiff agrees to accept instalments from you, they may not need to visit your home or try to take control of your goods. Try to make the payments even if the bailiff doesn't accept your offer. The bailiff will visit your home or business premises and try and make a list of your goods. This is what's known as a controlled goods agreement. The bailiffs will then demand that you pay them the money owed. You may be able to come to an arrangement to pay what you owe in instalments. If you don't pay, they can return to remove the goods listed on the controlled goods agreement. They must have followed the correct procedures to be able to do this. If you have a county court judgment for a debt and don't pay as a court has ordered, the creditor can apply to the court for a warrant of control. This warrant authorises a county court bailiff to try to take control of your possessions to encourage you to pay what you owe. The bailiff should give you seven clear days notice that they're due to visit you. This is often called the enforcement notice. Clear days don't include Sundays, Christmas Day or bank holidays. It's possible to stop bailiff action by suspending the warrant of control. To do this, you'll need to apply on form N245, which is available from your local county court hearing centre. The court can't refuse to accept the application just because the bailiff has not yet visited or managed to get in. However, the bailiff can continue to call round until the court agrees to suspend the warrant. County court bailiffs can usually act on any day of the week, but only between 6am and 9pm unless your business is open outside of those hours. They should show their identification and a copy of the warrant of control if you ask for it. If the bailiff comes to your home and takes control of your goods, you may be asked to sign a control goods agreement. This means that you can keep your goods as long as you make all of the payments on time. Use your budget to make sure that any payments you agree to are realistic and affordable. You don't have to let bailiffs in your home. Keep your windows and doors locked and speak to them through a closed door. Make sure that you do check their ID thoroughly and get them to pass it to you through the letterbox. They can't climb through a window, push past you or enter if there's a child under 16 in the house. County court bailiffs are only allowed to force their way into your home if they've taken control of your goods inside your home. You have made a control goods agreement with the bailiff and you've broken the CGA by missing at least one payment and that they've given you two clear days notice that they're coming to inspect or take these goods. If you're unhappy with the way that bailiffs have acted, write to the delivery manager of the county court hearing centre that they work for. If you feel like your debts are just getting on top of you, then it might be worth looking into debt solutions. Some of them lower your monthly repayments and others can even write off some of your debt depending on your unique situation. I've linked to a form on my new website. It's just underneath this video and it's got a few multiple choice questions like how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe? And then at the end of that form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to provide you all the information that you need about debt solutions that are available. So go and get the link from the description just below this video. Check it out and let me know how you get on.